Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2018 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the Ace Attack booth with Steve Branton. Steve, maybe we should start at the beginning. Who is Ace Attack and who do you help in this space? First, hi Rich, good to see you again. Oh, yes. Um, Ace Attack is a direct-to-chip liquid cooling company, and what we do is make it easier for people to run really hot processors in really dense clusters. <laughs> and that's what we do. Okay. Okay. And what are you showcasing this week, Steve? So, I'm really excited to be showcasing a new set of nodes that come from Intel. These are the first nodes that Intel has made that are come liquid cool from the Intel factory. So, ASUSX is the first company to be validated by the Intel process, which is quite extensive. Yep. And they're now shipping two different flavors of liquid cooled nodes. The top is a Xeon Phi node, where they use what they call liquid assisted air cooling. This is a 320 watt processor yep. and too hot to cool with a normal air heat sink. Yep. 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 So instead of doing that, we run liquid through a cold plate uh -huh. and bring it here to a radiator where the heat just gets blown through the node into the data center. Then more traditionally, what we've talked about is our direct chip liquid cooling. And that's, this is a regular Xeon node with a new scalable processors in it, the Skylake processors. And this allows you to take the heat from the processors out the back of the server into a manifold, exchange the heat with facilities liquid, and run the heat all the way out of the data center. So this is for nodes or clusters that get really dense because you want to, and the reason you want to have them dense is so you can keep the interconnect tight and keep the latency low. So very excited to have them uh, selling servers with our product in them today. Okay, Steve, what do we got here? So, this is our newest partner, Quanta, and they're selling a GPGPU compute system. It's a 4U system with two processors in it and eight V100 NVIDIA uh, SXM2 cards. So this system, uh, they were just able to win a deal with this in Taiwan for the new uh, supercomputing that they're building there for artificial intelligence. The, the government in Taiwan has decided that they need to have a presence in artificial intelligence. They're investing in that, and this system is is going to be the build out of that artificial intelligence system. Actually, this is the second deal we've done with NCHE. The first deal was done last year with Fujitsu, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, this is the Fujitsu node for GPGPUs on the top, and then there's a second tray here with two uh, Skylake processors in it. So, second time they've come back and, and bought Azotech Liquid Cooling, different different customer from us doing the doing the integration. So Steve, we're looking at some really large compute nodes here. What is this? Yeah, two compute nodes from our partners that we've talked about previously. This one from Supermicro, which is installed at Osaka University in Japan. This one from, from Penguin, which is installed at multiple government labs here in the US. Both featuring GPGPUs, and again, it's all about artificial intelligence. And what we're seeing happening in the marketplace, which is exciting for us, is these GPGPUs are 300 watts each. So pretty quickly you're at 1200 watts, plus you have to have a few processors, so you're pretty quickly at 1500 watts per one U. There are HPC workloads, so you want to keep the interconnect tight, which means you want to put as many of these in a rack as you possibly can, and that's where we really help people. And this is the Open Compute Project. Uh, yes, this is the Penguin Open Compute Platform. So let's look at what we do with the heat um, after we collect it into the liquid. Okay. We have two things that we're doing today. Yeah. We've talked previously about our direct-to-chip liquid-to-liquid heat exchanger that takes the system takes the water from the CPUs into here, exchanges the heat between that liquid and facilities liquid, and then the heat goes all the way out of the data center in an all-liquid path. Yeah, yeah. Now, one of the things that's happening with the GPGPUs is people are building smaller clusters. GPGPUs are pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah. And people want to get their code running, and they don't want to invest initially in this level of, of liquid cooling. So we've brought out an intermediate product that allows us to take the heat out of the server with liquid, 
and then run it through here, and here is a giant radiator because the Xeon Phi node has a little bit of space left in it for a, a hex, yeah. but the rest of these nodes, there is no room right. whatsoever. Radiator. Yeah. So this is a 2U radiator. We're able to cool 12 nodes with this, so you can cool basically two of those Fujitsu systems where you had eight GPUs on one level, okay. four CPUs at the other, another eight, another four. Okay. So about six and a half kilowatts of power. Yeah. All that's going to come back into the data center, but... But the air conditioning in the room will take care of that. Air conditioning will take care of it, and it, it gets you introduced to liquid cooling without having to do the initial investment in bringing water to the racks. Very nice, Steve. Well, you know, the this week we had the new top 500 list. How did you guys fare on that? So, very excited about that as well. Yeah. We're back in the in the top 10 with a new number 5, which is also the, the fastest supercomputer in Japan, again. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Then we've got uh, 3 in the top 100, 9 in the top 200, and 11 in the top 500 overall. So, and those 11 are also in the in the green 500. So energy saving is one of the things we've always talked about. We're, we're delivering on that promise as well. Yeah, these are the fastest machines on the planet, and they're using you guys to cool them. That's, uh, that's the hard stuff. Great, great job. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Thank you.